In this video, we're going to talk about voiding a check uh, without having a closed period. Now, when I say a closed period, uh, that means if you've gone up to either under company here and you've set a closing date, okay, or you can get to the same spot by going up to edit and preferences, and then under accounting, choose company preferences and you have your closed date down here. So if you set a closed date, that's something different. That's in a separate video. So go ahead and take a look at that video. But if you haven't set a closed date, what happens if you void a check? Okay, so I'm going to go into my bank account register. I'm going to scroll up to the top to one of these old checks up here. So first things first, let's go ahead and run a profit and loss standard cash basis. We're going to modify it and go cash basis. And we're going to say last month. Okay, so I look here and I see my previous month, all the information. I'm going to go ahead and collapse it so it's a little bit easier to see. Got my income, 64, my COGS, 25, and I have my total expense, 11. Net ordinary income, 27,000, okay? So again, if I go into here and I decide I want to void a check, from a previous period. Let's go scroll into November of 2015. Again, I'm in a demo file. So I'm gonna take this, let's pick a big one. I'm gonna take this $1,050 here. All right, and I'm, well, let's, let's pick a bill payment. That's a little bit easier. So $3,200 on a bill payment here. Okay, so here's a bill payment. It's already cleared the bank, everything like that. But let's decide I needed to void this payment for some unknown reason. All right, so what's going to happen is if it hadn't cleared the bank, of course, if this is a check that I had written in November and Larson Florin called me and said, hey, we never received payment for this bill. And you say, well, I cut a check back in November and it was for $3,200. Here's the check number. They say we never received it. Okay. You come in here, and if it is marked cleared, you probably want to say to them, uh, yeah, you did receive it. It cleared our bank. But if it isn't marked cleared, maybe you need to void this check and reissue another check. All right? So the way to do that, you go up here to edit. And you have to have the check open, of course. So you go up here to edit, and you say the void bill payment check. Okay, it's going to make that check go down to zero here. It's going to mark that bill as being unpaid. Okay, so it's still going to say 3200 is due. And when I save this, it's going to give me a warning. Are you sure you want to change this? Yes, I do. Then it's going to be another warning. This is because it said cleared. This has already cleared your bank. Are you really sure you want to void this check? I'm going to go ahead and say yes for now. Okay. So what's the reaction from that? If I go look at my profit and loss here, that $3,200 in expenses is no longer there. So it's going to make my net income go up. All right. So you want to just be really careful about voiding in prior periods. Now, even if that check hadn't have cleared the bank, it would still affect my profit and loss. All right. So you really want to be careful again. If you're talking about anything that's in a prior period, meaning prior year, prior month, you don't want to just go in there and void it. You want to watch the video about voiding in a closed period. <laughs> okay, but that's how you void a check. Again, I would recommend you go watch the video about voiding in a closed period because that'll give you a better uh, explanation of what, how it should be handled accounting wise. Okay, so the check's voided, zero dollars, save and close. Now I can go in, pay bills, uh, let's see, what check was it, Larson, Larson, go down to Larson, there's that $3,200 that wasn't paid, and I can pay the selected bill and reprint the check, okay? So that's how you void out a check.